Hi everyone, my name is Pokey, and today I'm going to be making a quick tutorial on how to create a pixelated shader in Unity. First off, you want to start by opening up Unity, creating a new project, make it 3D, 2D, whatever you want, give it a name, and click Create. In the project, you want to create a new folder just to keep everything nice and tidy. In the folder, you want to create three things. The first thing will be a C Sharp script. The second thing will be an image effect shader. And the third one will be a material that will carry that shader. Once you've created everything and named it however you like, drag the shader onto the material. Open up the C Sharp script. Once the C Sharp script is open, the first thing you want to write is execute it in edit mode. This will allow us to easily debug how the shader looks real-time. Then delete everything that is in the script and proceed by typing in void on render image, click enter, graphics.blit. Uh, this function will very simply just copy a source texture to a render texture via a effect material, which we will be calling publicly here. Once you're done with the c -sharp script, save it and close it, then open up the shader. In the shader, under properties, there's a few things that we want to add. We want to add the pixels, which will just simply be resolution. Uh, I set it to 512, you can set it to whatever you want for now, we can change that later. Then the pixel width and the pixel height, I set this to a default value of 64. Again, you can set it to whatever you want. We can then scroll and actually start initializing those values. Above sample 2D main texture, we want to input what I inputted as well, or whatever the values you, you named them were. Then we want to actually also add two values, which is dx and dy. This will be explained later on. Under the frag, you want to um, give the dx value whatever I wrote here, and I will make sure to explain what this means very soon. Basically what we're doing is we're taking the pixel width and multiplying it by one over however the resol whatever the resolution we want to be. To very simply visually explain that, here's the image that we're creating right now. Where the green values represent the y-axis from 0 to 1 and the red, the x-axis from 0 to 1. This will be the UV map that we will be feeding into the main texture. Then for the last thing, just put in the chord instead of i.uv. Go ahead and test out the texture, play around with it, and you're pretty much good to go. Uh, here's a few tips though. You might want to have set the width to 9 and the height to 16 if your screen ratio is 16 over 9. If your screen ratio is for example 4 over 5 then the width has to be 5 and the height has to be 4. Anyways that was me. Hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial and goodbye.